So in today's video, we're gonna walk through everything you need to know about how you buy your first Bitcoin. We're gonna set up an account on Coinbase Pro. I'm gonna teach you guys how to connect your Coinbase account to your bank account. Then we're gonna do a direct deposit and we're gonna buy our first Bitcoin all in under 15 minutes. So if you've never bought Bitcoin before, stay tuned, you're in for a treat because I'm gonna do it all in less than 15 minutes. If you're ready, let's dive deep. So down below in the link to this video is a affiliate link. So you guys are gonna get some free Bitcoin if you guys use my link, but you don't have to. It's not why I'm making this video. I just wanna help educate you guys. So if you want to, you can just Google Coinbase Pro. Now there's Coinbase, which is the regular exchange and there's Coinbase Pro. Eventually, you'll be wanting to trade your Bitcoin and move some of it around and do some different things and buy some different assets. Coinbase Pro has a lot more cryptocurrencies that you can purchase. So let's do this. We're going to go into Coinbase Pro Digital Assets. And the first thing we're going to do up here in the top right corner is we're going to hit the Sign Up tab. So go Advanced Trades. We don't really need any of this. Coinbase Pro is moving to Coinbase Advance. Coinbase Advance offers the same trading tools as Pro. Coinbase Advance supports advanced order types like limits, stop orders, trading view cards, and indicators. So cool. Let's go Coinbase Advanced. So Coinbase Advance, we're going to do the sign up tab. And again, down below in the description, if you guys want to support this channel, there's an affiliate link that you guys can use. So now the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask for your email. So let's use an email that I haven't used before and we're gonna hit continue. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill out our first name, our last name, our email, and we're gonna create a password, and then we're gonna hit create free account. The next step is going to be actually verifying your email. So you're gonna wait for the email to arrive. We're gonna swing over to our email. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you for a two-step authentication. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to fill out your phone number. After you submit your phone number, it's going to send you a code to your phone. Then it's gonna ask you your citizenship. And then this is where we are going to go through and we're gonna fill out all of our identity information. And it's gonna ask you things like, why do we need your social security number? Federal regulations require to us to verify your identity. Don't worry, your data is encrypted and secure. So you're gonna go fill out all of this information um, you're going to ask, it's going to ask you what you're going to use Coinbase for trading on Coinbase, trading on other exchanges. I just think online purchases is the way to go. So we'll choose online purchases. What are we going to use your funds for? Always pay, always say just savings or occupation. I would just say savings. And then your status, you can do employed, unemployed, retired, um, self-employed, choose by, choose whatever one you'd like. Um, and then it's gonna ask for the last four digits of your social security number, along with all of your other information. Once you get this filled out, you're just gonna hit continue. After you submit it, it's gonna say, thank you for submitting your information. It's gonna verify your identity. And what is the total value, including cash and crypto that you expect to transfer to Coinbase within the next 12 months? I would just say under a thousand. What industry do you work in? Uh, all other industries and services, so keep it simple. So you can now add a payment method so you're ready to invest in crypto. Now, this is really important. We're going to want to link our bank account immediately. So let's go ahead and add a payment method. Coinbase uses Plaid or Plaid to connect to your account, and it can connect into 8,000 different apps and trust Plaid to quickly connect to your financial institutions and keep your data safe. So we're going to hit continue. And then here, it's going to pull up a list of your banks. So I use Chase. A lot of people use Chase, Bank of America. It doesn't matter which bank you use. Just click your bank account. And then it's going to ask you to actually log into your Chase account and automatically connect your Chase account. So we're going to click continue to log in. And you can see over here, it's going to ask you to log into your account. You log into your account, verify your bank account, and let's do it. So it, Chase will probably tell you, we don't recognize the recognize your device. How would you guys like us to get into touch? You can choose one, just I choose text me, hit next. And then what it's going to do is it's going to send you a one-time code via text message to your cell phone. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna type that code in. Then below it where it says password, 
you're going to actually enter the password that you use to log into your bank account. So next is how to connect with Coinbase. So by connecting with Coinbase, you'll also be giving access to Played, the service Coinbase uses to collect your data. Now review both companies' terms of service and their privacy policies to learn how they use your data or if they plan to share or sell your data. So assuming they most likely are, right? And now you can see it's connecting your bank account to Plaid, which is then connecting it to the recipient, which is Coinbase or Coinbase Advanced. Now you can manage all of their access from your account. And here's what they're saying. We'll never share your username or password. You choose which accounts to connect and you can stop sharing at any time. Say, okay, cool. We're going to scroll down. We're going to hit the next button. Now, what Coinbase wants, they want your account number and will substitute these. Coinbase requires accounts and routing numbers to allow transactions to enable checking and savings account. To help protect you from fraud, we share substitute account numbers. They work the same as the actual account number when used by authorized third parties. So see your frequently asked questions and pages, account names, types, and other details, balance transactions and rewards, and then contact info. So you're just going to hit next. And if you actually want to drop these down, your account name, this includes details such as the nickname and partial account numbers for the accounts you choose. It'll show your balance. This includes your balance at the beginning of the most recent business day, as well as posted and pending transactions, deposits, payment fees, rewards may also be included in mind the transactions, blah, 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 all the stuff that you pretty much have no choice but to accept. So we're just going to continue on. It's going to choose what account you want to connect it to. Now. So we're going to choose total checking, which is my account and then include new eligible accounts automatically. I don't want to do that, right? Unless I plan to add another account later on, I'm just going to go with my main bank account. I have to click OK. Seems like it's going to run through the system and it's going to tell you now. I might have issues because I already have this connected to another account, but we'll see. Success. There it is. Hit continue. So you can join Coinbase One for zero trading fees. You can get a seven day trial. It's $29 a month and you have zero trading fees. Buy and sell up to 10K monthly with zero trading fees. A spread may still apply. Scam guys. The last place I personally would be trading crypto is somewhere like Coinbase. But if you're going to do smaller amounts and you do have a small account, 10K a month is not very much. So if I buy $5,000 worth of Bitcoin and I sell $5,000 worth of Bitcoin, that's $10,000 a month. <laughs> so it's not how much profit you make per month. It's up to $10,000 a month. And a spread may still apply, which means they're still going to charge you a fee of some sort. But you can get up to 10% APY rewards on, on earning your assets. So this is for members only. Um, and then exclusive tax, tax benefits, get a pre-filled 8949 form, 40% 40 off from crypto tax calculator and free coin tracker based, uh, trial for $59 value. Now you can also get analytics, which is Masari pro, which if you guys don't have Masari pro, I mean that asset alone, as far as a trader is, might be worth this $29 a month. So seven day free trial, you guys can, can choose what you want to do. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't need it. And now we are back here, right? We're back on the main page at Coinbase Advance or Coinbase. This just says coinbase.com forward slash home. So this is our new Coinbase page. And the easiest way just to buy crypto is right here. You just click the buy tab down here in the bottom right hand corner. Actually, let me take myself and make myself and put myself in a different position. So down here in the bottom of your screen, you can see buy crypto. I think this is the easiest way to do it. We're going to choose buy crypto, right? The asset we want to buy is Bitcoin. It's going to ask you how much, because you can see BTC is right here. Now you can go in US dollars or BTC value. I think US dollars is easiest. So let's just say we did $1,000. You would hit preview buy order. I'm not going to buy any. Well, let's buy it. Let's just buy 50 bucks worth. Screw it. Let's just buy $20 worth. I'll preview a buy just to show you guys. So we're going to buy $20 worth of Bitcoin. We're going to do preview buy. 
Now, here's where it is. So they're going to charge you a fee, which looks like almost 2%. So this is where I say that Coinbase is one of the most outrageous, overly priced exchanges that you can use, but it's the most convenient and easiest for new users. So I'm buying $20 worth of Bitcoin and I'm getting charged a $1.49 fee. That's roughly 7.5%. So let's just round up and say 8% that I'm going to pay in a fee to use their exchange just to buy Bitcoin. This is why if you have a friend that's willing to sell you Bitcoin over the counter, you're going to save 8% just buying directly from him versus on the exchange. So we're going to choose buy now, but you can also choose invest weekly and you can cancel any time. So maybe you want to do a $20 buy weekly and you just want to set it in, forget it. And this thing will just constantly buy you $20 worth of Bitcoin every week. So it's really convenient. We just hit buy. Your order was submitted. We'll send you an email when your order status updates. So what that means is that at the current price right there, you are locked in for buying that Bitcoin. Locked in. So whatever the price of Bitcoin was 63,500, didn't quite catch what it was there on the screen, but that means that you're locked in at that price. So however long it takes them to figure it out and send all the emails and get confirmation, you're good. You're locked in there. Now, if price drops down, it doesn't matter. You still bought it at whatever price it was when you hit that buy button. And then now you're just going to sit back, wait for your email should come in a, you know, in a short period of time. I don't know how long it's going to take. Let's swing back over to our email. It's already there. So if we swing back over to our email, your BTC purchase is now available, able to trade up to $20. And then what it's going to do is it's going to show you a receipt. It's going to show you your payment method, date and time, the amount you bought and the price you bought it for. Total was this or your subtotal Coinbase fees and then your $20. So again, maybe if you're only going to buy less than $10,000 a month, we pull out our calculator, $750 if you bought up to $10,000 a month. So if it was me and I was going to be buying, you know, a good five or $10,000 a month, uh, purchasing that $29 or at the very least doing the seven day free trial, make your first order of a hundred bucks. See if you get the discount. If you get the discount, I mean, it's going to save you a lot, a lot of money. So keep these things in mind. Again, my name is Ryan Matta. If you guys enjoy this content, please consider supporting us by using our affiliate links down in the description. If you guys have any other questions, I do two crypto shows a day, one at 9 a.m. and one at... If you guys have any more questions about crypto, I do two shows a day, one at 10 a.m. and then another one at 9 p.m. The 10 a.m. show is strictly Bitcoin. So if you know any other Bitcoin maxis or you're bigger in the Bitcoin community and just happen to be watching this video... Uh, reach out. I'd love to interview you. I'd love to interview anybody that's extremely uh, Bitcoin maxi on the morning show. And then if you guys are into these other crypto projects, mainly crypto companies, as I call them, ask them to come and reach out. I would love to interview them as well. Hopefully you guys have a great day and you enjoy this content. God bless you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.